Have you ever wondered how to keep your audience engaged? It is very important to keep the communication going with your audience, but equally, it is really crucial to have them engage back. So in this episode number 106, I'm going to share with you my three specific strategies on how to keep the relationship going and make sure that your audience is engaged, as well as making them rave about you. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from ThierryVAlexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so you can attract all the best qualified leads for your business and make sure that you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training and I'm also attaching a PDF cheat sheet guide of some sort that you can implement in your business and in your lifestyle as well. In this episode number 106, I want to share with you my three strategies on making sure that your audience is engaged with you. You see, retention strategy is an aspect which is very underestimated, which in turn is creating a lot of frustrations in businesses. The first advantage of creating customer retention is that you will have a better time to sell again to someone who already bought something from you than having to find a new customer and, and convincing them that your product, service or opportunity is great for them. The other advantage is also that you're, you're basically nurturing a long lasting relationship because people are going to be more happy to spend money with you knowing they already spend money with you and they are happy about where their money is going. So let's dive into the three aspects, the three strategies that you can use in order to create more engagement with your audience. The first one is challenges. That's a beautiful strategy to basically bring value to your audience and making them to engage back, which in turn is going to also provide you with more information about what they need and want. The first strategy is challenges. Challenges are a great strategy to engage with your audience while having fun at the same time. It is also fantastic and a great way for you to provide value over a short period of time and making them get quick wins so they are happy and feeling rewarded and satisfied with what you are teaching very quickly. Challenges are typically run over a short period of time, I would say like five days, so it's easier for you to make it and put it together, but also get your audience quick wins so they can be once again satisfied and happy about the results that they are getting very quickly thanks to what you're bringing to the table. You can run free or paid challenges. That is up to you. No matter what you decide, I would definitely highly recommend for you to have an upsell on the before or last day of your challenge, the before last or the last day of your challenge. And as you know, each and every single week, I also equip you with a freebie guide cheat sheet of some sort to empower you in your own way within your business. This week, because we're talking about engagement with your audience and creating you know, strategies around it, I'm bringing you my freebie, which is the 60 headlines ideas guide that is going to give you 60 ideas of what to talk about and never run out of ideas ever again. If you want to get access to this freebie, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. If you are on my YouTube channel or any other platforms, just go in the description section around this video somewhere that will take you back to my blog and once you're there below this video again you'll see a massive yellow button click this and you'll receive the 60 headline ideas guide into your email box Next. the second strategy is giveaways this is a really great way to engage your audience and make them happy I usually tend to use giveaways when people are doing referrals for me. So for example, I would, you know, ask who wants to do a referral post on their timeline and I will put all those people into a hat or a wheel because I tend to do it uh, digitally. At the end of the month or at the end of the week, whenever you decide of the deadline when you are doing the price row, all those people are in that one place and 
one or several people, depending on what you're doing, are actually uh, pull out randomly and they are the winner. The beautiful advantage of this is that your business is actually exposed in front of new eyeballs you didn't have to prospect and find yourself. Your friends are putting you in front of their contacts details eyeballs, which, you know, essentially gives you also the permission to get in touch with those people. Now, when everyone is commenting that they want more information about whatever your friend has been referring you for, your product, your service, your opportunity, you can reach out to the comments, friend them up, and build further relationship into your messenger box. My last strategy is to create contest. This is a beautiful way to engage with your audience, excite them at the same time of growing your business all in one go. For example, you could give a $20 Amazon card to the person who has been inviting the most people into your private Facebook group. This is something that I do, which works a lot. It brings advertisements for your business and it makes them have fun. People love having some wins very quickly. So giving them a little bit of a cash or a little bit of something that they can use there and then, it could be also some of your services, maybe a 30 minutes or an hour of a coaching consultation, whatever it might be as a prize, but they have to do something in return for you. I absolutely love giveaways and it truly positions you as a true leader who loves giving away to other people as well. In conclusion, there are so many ways that you can actually engage with your audience for them to engage back with you while growing your business. You just need to find what works for you. However, just make sure to have fun along the way. People join people that know where they're going, but also have fun and don't take themselves too seriously. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you know it, share it, send it with you to your fellow network marketers, entrepreneurs, makeup artists, whomever you think could benefit from these strategies and knowing what to do to have their audience engage back with them. They will also get access to the freebie you can download below this video on the yellow button, 60 headline ideas guide, which will be sent automatically to your email box. Question of the week. What retention ideas do you have to engage with your audience? So have your audience engage back with you? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know what type of tools, strategies, ways, ideas that you have in order for you to engage, but also have people return the engagement back to you and grow your business along the way. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love connecting with you each and every single week. This episode is a wrap, but I will see you on the next video next week. You take care. Bye-bye-bye.